Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. Just a quick gear review today. I've got a set of these MBUS 3 sights that have got the rear and the front sight, they're sold separately, to put on this Bushmaster 300 Blackout that I've got laying here that's a flat top. These are a polymer sight made by MBUS. They're kind of an extension of the original, I'm sorry, made by Magpul. They're an extension of the original MBUS, but they add all the pro features except they're still polymer. The front sight's about 40 bucks, the rear sight's about 60 bucks MSRP. So you can get a pair of these things for less than you can get one of the pros. The pros are metal. And the only time you would really need to worry about getting the pros is either, number one, if you hate polymer sights, but number two, if the only place to mount the front sight was on the gas block. You can't mount either of these on a gas block. They can be on the rail with the gas block a little distance away. But if you actually have one of those rifles where the gas block is out exposed, there's no rail that goes out there and there's a little small picatinny on the top of the gas block, you would need to go with the pros. So let me get these things on and then I'll show you what they look like. So I went ahead and got them installed. They're easy to do. Just an eighth inch Allen wrench or a flathead screwdriver and one screw. But once you put them on the rail, and by the way, this is the orientation that their instruction manual in, says that you should do with it laying back towards the back when it's down. I suppose you could put it on any way you want, but this is how their documentation shows. They're easy to work. So if I wanted to flip either one up, all I have to do is push this little button here and they'll pop up. Once they're up, if you want them back down, you just fold them back down. So there's no releases or anything to use to put it back down again. And hit the button again and they pop up. The rear sight is windage adjustable with this adjustment knob right here, and it's toolless adjustment, and every click is approximately 0.6 MOA, give or take, at 100 yards. And the front one has a thumb screw. Let me turn it where you can see it. There's a thumb screw right here. You see it right here. And this adjusts one MOA. So you, you can adjust height and elevation with the front one windage with the, with the rear one and this blade is also reversible you see it's kind of wide but if I look at it from the top if I can get the camera to focus on it you'll see there's a narrow edge as well you can pull this thing all the way up and rotate it and then lock it back in place and have it be a narrow edge sight that does potentially destroy your zero so you, know, you see either have to take account of the clicks or just plan to re-zero it because you actually have to run it all the way up till it's loose and then rotate it and then lock it in and run it back down again. But once you adjust it, it will stay that way. They're actually pretty convenient little sights. And because you can get a set of these plastic ones, the polymer ones, for less than a single one of the steel ones, if you don't need the steel ones for your application, especially if they're truly backup sights, which is what they kind of set these up as to be as backup sights, you would have an optic of some sort and you can fold the sights down and have them completely out of the way of your optic when you don't need them. And then in the event you've removed the optic or the optic fails, a simple push of a button and you have sights in play. They're pretty solid. The metal ones will be a hair more solid as far as not moving at all. But for the purposes of backup sights and closer distances, these are plenty good enough. Again, if you're wanting a tighter tolerances, heat resistance, because you're going to have to mount on a gas block, or you know, that robustness that comes with steel, you'd move up to the MBUS Pro, but you're going to pay twice what you would for a set of these. Let me show them the, the way you would see them when you're looking at them. If you're looking at the rear sight, and it'll take me a second to get this set up right, this is the small hole peephole, and then you can flip it this way and get a large one. The large one gives you a little less accuracy and resolution, but easier, faster acquisition. And if your eyes are weaker, you may have an easier time actually seeing the front sight through this. And you can switch this without affecting your aim at all. It doesn't affect your zero. And then on the front one, of course, you just have the blade, which I mentioned earlier, you can switch either way. So they're pretty easy to use, pretty easy to look at and pretty high quality for a polymer backup site. I've looked at other similar kind of designs and they've either been kind of flimsy or you know they've required tools to adjust. Whether or not they would stay zeroed was kind of dubious. Another cool thing, these are available in the black that you see here, which I bought because this is the rifle is black, but they also have an FDE and an OD green. So you can get them in whatever color you want. 
Now I'm going to need to take this to the range and zero them to make sure I got them on and I'll zero them at the range that I'm most commonly going to use this when I'm out and then if I'm going to get into longer distances I'll put an optic of some sort on it. On that if you like our videos please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, click that bell up there to be notified if you do. Check us out on Facebook, Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, Getter, Rumble, pretty much everywhere and thank you.